The awakened do not fear, for they know the truth. They have the knowledge of the passion of creation and the vision of the reality which exists in the desire. Before the desire manifests, the feeling is given so that it can be brought forth into creation. The ceremony is a process of moving from the creation to the manifestation. The creation is always given in feeling before the manifestation into physical reality is given. The delay is required to give time for the ceremony of gratitude. In the ceremony, the spirit aligns with the energy which has already brought forth the life form which exists in the invisible. The invisible is where all reality is and where it is always ready to take form. It is where the beings who operate in conjunction with your soul reach out to give you what you ask for. This method of the ceremony allows for a sequential harmonic unfolding within this third dimensional physical manifested reality. Each manifested being is bonded by guides who support every ceremony of manifestation in the ordered creation. There are the angels who offer wisdom and guidance. Those who have turned away are stuck in fear and the disbelief. They refuse to agree with the universe and turn away from the light and the path of the divine river. They have turned their backs upon the very ones they are. It is a step away that has caused dislocation which creates distortion and static. The static of the dark path is out of phase with the reality of the loving universe that gives and gives. The truth is freedom and in freedom creation is allowed room to experiment and find the sacred patterns that flow out from the central sun. The dark path is the dislocated path which has lost connection. The river moves on and on with tremendous power and consistency. Within this river is a small coagulated group in resistance to the flow and have become a blockage, a stagnant core that refuses to unblock and release the lower self-control of the ego into this timeline. The way-showers are those who have achieved higher spiritual soul consciousness by directing their energies within and up into the collective soul galactic consciousness, while others, the dark masters, have refused to seek within and stay within the ego consciousness, which is locked in the trauma of the reptilian mind. They deceive themselves into insanity by looking upward for God and the gods that exist in illusion and psychotic imagination to support their third dimensional agendas, prejudiced egos and plans for racial dominion and conquest. The earth appears to be damaged by the tragic consequences of mass national insanity. The fog that has crept across the face of the land has polluted the consciousness of millions who are diseased and unwilling to be healed. The sick and the insane crave victims to infect with sickness to capture their resources before all is lost in the sea of terminal toxins. The earth desires fertility, abundance and balance within her ecosystems and the weather and primordial energy will bring back harmony. The only path for those who have become blocked, stagnant, and useless to the plan of reality will be purged by the earth. They may be reformed upon another cycle. This planetary pattern is being brought forth as the next stage of development cannot include gross consciousness that holds lower emotional fields of fear, deceit, anger, ignorance, and rage in active production. The insane engaged in the dislocated path of darkness are coming out of their holes looking for havoc, drama, war, violence, abuse, and news of pain and destruction. The earth will no longer tolerate this and the advance of storms, volcanoes, earthquakes, and solar heat will transform the world towards the awakening. All are all one and in agreement with the path of light. You are to walk upon the waters and sit upon the throne. Given is the testimony of the wayward sons of might and power. They have leapt blind into the purging fire of the nightmare seeking the advent of malevolence. Rulers who have taken life to bend the wills of men and crush the honor of the battalions face the disappearing zeal of their followers. 
The way showers listen to the heavens sent, for they watch the skies in the last hours. The awakened choice is to surrender to the gift that falls easily into the hands of the servants and the teachers.